What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some Hello Neighbor 2. Now, it's been some time, but they have come out with a recent update that adds um, some new content, which is very, very cool. It is called Hello Guest. It also unlocks a new area where the challenges are, so you need to go and do this. This is a bit different though, so it gives you some kind of like small free roamish area where the guest it will be wandering around in like a hooded black cloak that will be trying to capture you. While he is doing that, you have to complete certain quests or challenges and keep moving on without getting caught. So it's pretty cool. So I am back to give you a walkthrough of what you need to do, just like I did with the, like the normal like campaign Hello Neighbor 2. Gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna try and keep these videos as short as possible. So I'm gonna break them down into sections for you more so you can follow them very, very easily without getting overwhelmed with a bunch of tasks that you need to do straight away. So, this is the new area that you unlock. So, like I said, there is going to be a creepy figure running around trying to catch you. So, it's time to be sneaky and creepy yourself. We're going to use a lot of these bushes that we can now walk through to hide ourselves and keep ourselves hidden from the guest. And the first thing we are going to do, we're going to go to this little shack right here very very hard to miss it's right on the left as you walk in and we're going to open and go in so here we are this is the first little shack if you want to call it that we're in here we're going to pick up a few items going to pick up the hammer the crowbar and this little fuse right here. While you're here, you can also pick up some new planks. This is part of the new mechanic that they added. So it's very cool. Try and keep as many of these planks in your inventory as you can. They are scattered around near enough everywhere. So here is the generator. For the generator, we're going to use the fuse. And there's three stages to this generator. We got the crane, we got the sawmill, and then we've got the mining card that we have to use. First of all, we need to activate all these and complete the uh, the challenges associated. There's actually a dude outside. You see that? That's the guest. He is outside. Or was. That's the dude that we need to try and stay away from. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the fuse in the crane slot first. And then there's a switch just outside this door. You can just see on that post that we need to activate. So we need to kind of look around and try and see where this guest is. He does make noises. So once you think you're clear, Go out, activate it, come back in, shut the door. Once you have activated, and if you do get caught, don't worry. Just try and get into some bushes real quick and hide from him. Because he will continue to use the same path when he caught you the last time. You only go into the back of the shack, so don't worry. There he is. As you can see, this guy can jump and climb. So you need to be careful of that. So we need to go into that shack up there while avoiding the guest so like i said just keep using the bushes but be be aware of your surroundings because he can just suddenly pop up and appear and if he does catch you again he will put you back in that shack and you'll have to start over again so as you can see he has literally just gone in and he might come out the other side so i'm going to quickly run up here this is where we need to go there he was there. So we're going to use this little shack. We're going to come over and activate this lever. So that goes up and the logs fall as you can see. Then we're going to run over 
to this shack right here. Close the door. Then we want to get our hammer out. And we want to start trying to barricade this door a bit like so. They don't have to be perfect. For some reason I can't put one here. Uh, there are more planks. Like I said, always try and keep your inventory as full as possible. As you can see, he just broke that. I can't. He's actually breaking through. So yeah, he's going to be constantly doing this. So you can put, try and put down as many as you want. You don't have to. But I do recommend that is the kind of do. So, here is the crane. It's all turned on. We need to then pick up some logs that should have fell out. You see there are some logs on the ground right there. So, these are the controls. I think it is kind of going to be different for everyone. But as you can see, the yellow market is right there. These barricades will last uh, some time. So, we need to try and line up on how to get one of these logs. So we can spin this. You doesn't have to pick up one log. So... Not quite there. Then we use the middle one, pick up the log, and now we need to take it back to this conveyor belt, as you can see. And then we want to drop it on, boom, as you can see, it's right there. Right, so once you have got the log on the conveyor belt, we need to make it back over to that shack there, where the generator was. So be very careful, keep your eyes out obviously, but you can run back. You can do this as quick as possible, you can avoid the guests just by moving pretty quick. And just keep jumping around and on top of stuff. So we made it here. So once you're in here, you want to pick up the fuse and place it in the sawmill one electricity is going to go through and it's going to go up to the sawmill and that is where we need to go next so use the bushes as we usually do keep be aware of your surroundings now like i said you can creep as you can see is right there if you know where he is and he's like behind you and he doesn't see you can run like so We're going to jump up, activate this, so it saws the wood, and gives us some more stuff. Yet again, be aware of your surroundings, this guy can jump and everything. Now, we need to run back. So once you are back at the shack, obviously, pick it, pick the fuse back up. Put it in the last slot because that is where we're going to use it and then we want to go back to uh, the mine cart that's where it was where we sawed the wood in this little shack here as you can see all the lights are now on we can hop in there as you can see there's a bunch of wood stacked in here which we can use and now we can use this lever to try and escape this guy <laughs> As you can see, he's still running, and he's still going to be running in the woods, trying to come and get you. But we're in this, and now we just need to uh, enjoy this journey. Once you have fired load the minecart all the way up, mortals. 
Uh, you're going to come to this bit right here. You will come to a little shack just beforehand that you have to get out and activate the lever on. It will just remove a barricade so the car can continue forward. Um, and then once you've made it here, we're going to jump off. I'm going to head into that building right there. But this is going to be like the end of the first tutorial. We've gone through the first bit, the making of the planks, I think they call it. But it's basically the lumber yard. So I hope that it helped you out. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video.